Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Praetorian, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4s. We are playing with France with our random ideologies mod. All right, guys, so I went ahead and set up a few things before we got started here. Went ahead and set up the armies here in the colonies. Uh, we're probably going to want to go ahead and, and get them their, uh, uh, get their, their orders uh, situated. Somebody did want me to take a look at what Turkey was doing. Uh, obviously, they don't have their own national focus tree, a unique national focus tree, so really not much to expect there. Uh, they're socialist. Uh, they seem to be on the borders here, and that's pretty much all we know. Uh, there's really not a lot we can see with them. Uh, so let's go ahead and get a border with the British here, uh, and then we're going to want to give them some uh, offensive line as well. And let's get them over there, uh, our troops in Syria. So we built just a little army here, uh, and also have another one uh, down here. As far as giving them borders, We'll wait. Uh, I don't even know what we're gonna be doing with those guys down there just yet, or even if there will be conflict. I assume that there will be. Uh, and then I also set up some volunteer units. Uh, so we have one under Charles de Gaulle. Uh, they've got tanks. They've got a lot of motorized. Our motorized are decent. Uh, they are not bad. So I went ahead and gave him two motorized divisions. And we're gonna give these guys to this division here, to Belgium. Uh, so let's go ahead and send the volunteers, if I can find the damn button. Uh, and it is the blue equals army under Charles de Gaulle. All right, so we'll send those volunteers there. Uh, this one I situated for um, to send over to Norway, but I don't know if I'm gonna send these to Norway because this war over here is almost done and I would prefer to send Bobby. these guys because they already have experience so we can get them even further experienced. Uh, so we might do that and I'm, I'm not really, I'm not too worried about Norway. I think they'll be okay more worried about Belgium. Uh, though it does seem that uh, they're getting uh, volunteers from both Italy and the United States, and the same thing with Norway. Uh, so I think that might be one of the reasons why they're doing okay. Uh, and I think that's all we needed to do. Uh, I believe so. Oh, wait a minute. One more thing, guys. Uh, let's go and get our tanks situated. We do have some experience. There's a few things we could do here. They could use some support artillery since they don't have any other artillery here. And let's just make them a little bit better because uh, frankly they're kind of small uh, so let's get their combat width to up to at least 20 for right now let's go ahead and save that and that's gonna that's gonna basically reduce the experience to all of our tank units so we are gonna have to mess around with those guys a little bit that's fine if this tank unit doesn't have any experience when he goes over there uh, I'm all right with that and they did allow it so they'll be getting there on the 19th of May that's when our troops will get there uh, so we do need to take any tank units out I will wait until they actually and their experience actually drops before we start training them up once they get that manpower uh, so we're over here trying to help out and oh there we go Japan just declared war on the Chinese People's Republic wasn't sure if they were going to or not because they're a democracy but they did get the the claim over here so they did it anyway and I guess it makes sense because they are communist uh, so so yeah they did end up declaring war uh, so there will be a Japanese Chinese war even if they are different ideologies and I assume that they're going to create a, uh, a faction here, a Chinese faction. Uh, we'll just have to see if that's when it is happening. So it probably won't bring the rest of the world into that conflict. Especially with Japan not being fascist anymore. They're not going to ally with the, the Germans or the, the Italians. Uh, so we've got these troops going up here to grab that victory point. These guys are attacking them there. Uh, we have a tank here and I think we were... Can we move that one? We can move that province. Uh, Alright, they already did it. Excellent. So let's go ahead and just wipe these troops out here. And, yep, Marco Polo Bridge incident, incident excuse me. Uh, so, now that you guys have done that, what I want you to do is stay here. Come over here and attack those guys there. Uh, in fact, we don't really need that anymore. Instead, let's just go ahead and have this guy go here as well. Uh, excuse me. There we go. Uh, let's just have both those troops go over there so we can try and grab that victory point. I'm sure we're going to need more than one division to take it. And... Uh, Looks like Japan declared war on somebody else as well. And nice, we did get our research done for the planes. That is awesome. Um, so we're gonna get those building here in a minute. Uh, let's first get something over here. Let's do engineer companies because we don't even have those yet. Uh, that's typically one thing that most of the major powers start out with, but not, not France. Uh, so what did we get? We got the planes, that's right. So I don't think we're gonna need anything else for right now. Uh, could of course uh, get the, the more recent planes uh, for our carriers, but we have one carrier and we're really not building any right now So I'm not gonna prioritize that at the moment. Um, eventually we are gonna start building more carriers, but we need more dockyards uh, That's obviously a problem. Uh, we do need to get 
We do need to get some, some artillery here. Uh, I think that might be what we do next, in fact. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Let's get some light self-propelled artillery for those tank units. Um, I could have actually have left that open uh, when I made the tank unit. Uh, left it open instead of putting all those uh, motorized infantry. But that's fine. It's okay, guys. I'm not too worried about it. All right. Uh, so, are these guys right. done training yet? They are not. Uh, we still have troops that are coming across the the seas to those two colonial regions. Uh, and we also have to remember the 19th of May, we get our, our troops over there in Belgium. So we want to get those assigned uh, so they can help out. All right. So let's go ahead and do this attack here. See if we can get that victory point. Hopefully that'll be the end. Uh, we'll just have to see. It looks like they already seized this victory point. There's another one over here, which might need to be taken. Uh, and it looks like they did not go where I expected them to go. Well, that's quite unfortunate, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like all of the, uh, well, that sucks. All of the volunteers are going to the Congo. Oh, Lord. That is, that is stupid. Yeah, all right, I don't want these in the Congo, and it looks like there's already um, American and Italian troops here helping. So let's, let's get out of here, guys. Uh, let's go back to the port there, and I guess we're just going to sell over to Belgium. And, and wow, I mean, we could end up losing our troops from that, honestly. Yeah, we could very well lose our troops if we send them over there. I think we would. I think the British would sink them. Well, that's a goddamn shame. Maybe I should do this different. Okay, they can't go back to France. Yeah, you can't go to France if they're volunteers. You can only remain in their territory, apparently. All right. Well, that's a shame. So yeah, that would require us to sell all the way around here, which would probably result in them dying if we wanted to actually help in Belgium. That's really unfortunate. I really didn't want to to do that. Um, yeah, that's not how I was trying to help them. Uh, we did get both civilian factories and military factories, so let's go and get these assigned. Uh, let's continue doing, yeah, let's continue doing military factories, guys. Uh, obviously, we, we need a lot of these. Well, let's go and build in Paris, build over there in Brittany, and down here on the Pyrenees Mountains. And then we also need to get this military factory assigned. Uh, and I said I was gonna build fighters, so I'm glad that I ended up popping in here real quick. Uh, we wanna get some fighters. And is there anything else that we need? You know what? We should probably get the naval bombers. We are going to need to beat the Royal Navy. And the best way to do it is going to be with naval bombers, honestly. Uh, because I don't think our Navy is going to be able to do it. But just wait till we get a factory and then we'll go to the naval bombers. Uh, but we're going to want to get the naval bombers built up for that because we're going to need a lot of them. Uh, Hindenburg incident. Close call. Looks like it didn't. I didn't read that, but it seems like it didn't. Uh, didn't crash. Uh, let's go and help them destroy these guys here. Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't look like that one's going to be a win. Maybe we go this one. Yeah, we'll attack right there. Get these guys destroyed. I don't think we're going to need to protect Madrid anymore. It looks like these guys have just about done it. It does seem that we lost this conflict. Well, that's unfortunate, isn't it? Let's just go and pull back then. And let our organization get back up. And there we go. Never mind. It's a wrap. Uh, Republican Spain took 11 states and Spain was annexed. So we now have communist in Spain. All right, so that's awesome. Uh, hopefully we'll see the faction grow, um, and hopefully uh, the Americans will start inviting people to the to the faction. Uh, so let's go in and get these these tanks assigned uh, to the training army here. And it seems that we also have these guys that are currently done. They can go ahead and pop. Actually, both of these guys can pop onto that border there. And uh, do we have any other troops down here? Yes, we do. All right, so we sent a ton of guys over here. Uh, let's go ahead and get who do we have over here? All right, that looks good. Let's go ahead and send these three. Um, over to this port for right now. All right, and that'll give us uh, five over there and four down here. That's good for right now. Uh, we won't get fronts or anything going there because, you know, obviously we're not at war uh, there just yet. One thing I was considering doing is attacking the Netherlands. Uh, we'd have to invade. Yeah, I don't know how we'd do that. We'd have to invade from the sea. I guess that wouldn't be that big of a problem, maybe. I don't know. Could be an issue. Um, but maybe we could get it done, invade from the sea. And if we conquer them, then we could get their colonies in our hands, which would give us well, would give us a lot of resources and keep that out of the British hands as well. Now, I don't know that the British will attack the Netherlands. It's hard to say. Uh, hard to say what they're going to do since they're not a democracy. Uh, and Spanish War is over. Excellent. That's right. We were going to go ahead and send um, some volunteers. First of all, we need to send these guys. They might die. Yeah, they could very well die. Can I not even... I don't even know if I can send across the seas. It looks like you can't. It looks like they're just stuck here. 
Well, that sucks, man. So we're just stuck fighting in Africa. Fuck. Yeah, that's not how I wanted to do this. All right, whatever. There's nothing you can done, be done about it. That's just really, I really stupid design. Uh, why they, they go to, I think there's programmed to go to the, I thought they were programmed to go to the closest port to you, but if that was the case, we'd end up over here. So I don't really know how the hell that works. I had always thought that it goes to the closest port. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. That's really weird. Unless they're considering, yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know how it works, honestly. That kind of threw my entire understanding of the volunteers concept in a loop there because it has always been the closest port, uh, to you. So yeah, that's really weird. Uh, but it basically results in us having to fight in Africa, which is going to result in an insane amount of fucking casualties because of the attrition here, which was not my original design. I almost want to pull them back um, because, yeah, I just don't want to fight here. I hate fighting in Africa. It doesn't look like the Brits have that many troops here, but it seems that the German volunteers got sent here as well. So it's like, yeah, we're just as volunteers against volunteers. I guess we'll help a little bit. We'll see how bad the attrition gets. But if it gets as bad as I expect it to be, then we are going to we're gonna pull them back, guys. Um, so where are those... Oh, that's right. The Spanish volunteers are gone. Okay. So let's go ahead and I guess we'll attack down here. Uh, I'm trying to attack this way. Just trying to see if which uh, direction we want to go. I think we should go around around the troops that are here right now. Uh, and it looks like the volunteers aren't really helping much. They're not even moving forward right now. Uh, so, yeah, it's like we're going to be the only ones doing any work. This is all different states, so we do need to consider that as well. So let's move the tanks down here. I want to have them all in different places. Uh, because the supply is going to be garbage here. And plus we have motorized and tanks. If I knew that, I would have sent infantry here, man. But I didn't know I was going to the Congo. So, <laughs> yeah. It uh, wasn't the best uh, design, obviously. Uh, but nothing to be done about it. Let's go and send our troops to the borders. And see if we can't push forward on their territory. Let's see how bad the attrition gets. And we might just pull them back, guys. Because I'm not going to lose a, a shit ton of troops um, for this war. Uh, so we're still waiting for our colony, for our volunteers back. Uh, and we're going to send those to... Norway. Uh, so we do need to make sure that we have our tanks trained up because we did just change them up. Uh, so let's grab any tanks that we have. I don't think we have any in the red army. No, we already pulled the ones out of the yellow army. All right. So that'll work. Um, I almost want to help the Chinese in their conflict too. We could send volunteers over there. You know what? I might do that. In fact, with this, this extra army that we have here, that could be very wise. Do we want to send mountain troops over there though? Just take a look if they'd be fighting any kind of mountainous regions. I don't think, I think they're mainly going to be fighting over here along Beijing. And that's not really all that mountainous. I think we'd probably, uh, you know what, it might be better to send those guys to Norway. I think that's exactly what we're going to do. We do concentrate industry too. Uh, let's go ahead and get something else researching here. Uh, let's do the improved machine tools. Uh, and yeah, let's go ahead and send some troops to China. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these guys out, just throw them in the blue army for right now. And then we'll take, uh, I don't know, maybe Bobby. motorized troops and send them over there. Yeah, and, and maybe some tanks as well. I think we are going to send them a tank unit too. Uh, I know that all of our tanks are currently training. Uh, they don't have a lot of experience, but that's okay. Uh, let's send these guys. Uh, they can get experience over there. That's the way I look at it. Uh, so yeah, we'll send them, the trickster, to China. And where is he? There he is. All right. So we'll just have volunteers all over the world helping out, uh, you know, without actually declaring war. That's the goal anyway. And they did allow it, of course, and they will get there on the 23rd of June. Okay. Uh, so now we're pretty much just fighting uh, down here. And we did get our troops back from Republic Republican Spain. Awesome. Uh, so what we're going to want to do now is take these more experienced troops and send them over to uh, Norway. And hopefully they go where we expect them to go to. Uh, so let's grab them up. Get them going to Norway. And that looks good. I don't think there's anything else that we need to do here right now. No, I'm pretty sure everything's okay. Um, just making sure all the tanks are training up. Yeah, it looks like it. All right. So let's go ahead and, and fight down here. We already have our troops kind of moving, moving around. Uh, and when do we get the, the troops in Norway? That's going to be on the 25th of June. All right, so 23rd and 25th. Still just kind of moving our, our divisions here. This is going to take a little while. Uh, just everything takes longer here. Infrastructure is garbage in Africa. I always avoid fighting in Africa. I used to I used to actually fight here, uh, you know, a while ago, uh, back when I first kind of started playing Hearts of Iron 4 on the channel. And uh, it just was always a hassle. You just always lose a lot of troops. It's not exactly fun. Uh, it just takes a long time to do anything to move, to, to actually win a, a fight, just because of it's more uh, fitting for the defense here. 
and it's just not fun. Uh, so I typically don't fight in Africa. It's, it's a waste of time. There's no point. Uh, there's some resources, but not enough to warrant it. It's not like Asia, where Asia has the high attrition, but there's so many resources, so it's it's uh, worth fighting for. Uh, and who just got here? Yes, China. Okay, got so let's go off. ahead and get our troops over here on this border. Although it does seem that they have a lot of troops there, maybe it would be better to help protect some of their ports because it doesn't look like they're protecting them. We'll just wait to see if they... You know, if they land any troops, I don't think we could help out here, honestly. It would just result in attrition. So let's instead protect uh, key ports. Probably uh, Shanghai here, I think, would be the best way to do this. Um, yeah, I think that's that's the one of the key um, ports they want to they would want to take. Maybe we'll move two divisions over there. Yeah, let's do that. Let's move two divisions over here. Uh, we'll just move, move the tank unit over here, and we'll move the infantry. No, no, no. Change that up. Let's move the motorized and one infantry. So they'll protect that port, these guys will protect this port, and and we'll just stay there until something changes up there uh, where we wouldn't be taking attrition by getting on that front. All right, so let's go ahead and, well, we'll pick a tech, that's what we'll do. Uh, we're gonna get excavation too, and yeah, we're just we're just waiting now. Uh, we did get to Norway though, all right, awesome. And we are, we're just knocking these techs out, awesome. Uh, so we are gonna have to build those. Uh, let's get, uh, I think we're done here. Could get the next line of artillery. Uh, I think that might be what we do, in fact. Yes. I think that would be the best best thing to get. We could also do the land doctrines as well. Uh, we're already set along the grand battle plan doctrine. And I don't think I'm going to go that route. No, typically as France I do. Um, but I want to do something different. I'm probably going to go for uh, either superior firepower or mobile warfare. Uh, in this this playthrough, uh, we're not gonna go for anything just yet. Uh, instead, I feel like I need to get that artillery. All right, so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get the artillery tech, improve our artillery since we have an artillery in pretty much all of our divisions at this point. Uh, one thing I meant to mention at the beginning of the episode, and then I forgot, uh, is yeah, that uh, this video obviously is gonna be kind of late again. Uh, every time I, I do an episode on Monday, it always fucks my whole schedule up, just throws everything off real bad. That's right, we got troops in Norway. Uh, it just throws everything off really, really bad uh, since I work all day on, on Sunday. And uh, so I'm going to record two episodes a day to try and get us Calibre. back on track. And we need to put all these volunteers in the same army if we can. Can we? We cannot. Calibre. All right, that's kind of shitty design because then you can't get... Uh, yeah, you don't have enough field marshals to, to assign them everywhere. We'll give field marshals on the most important. This is not the most important theater. I'd say, I guess Norway is the most important theater right now. Uh, so let's go ahead and get uh, field marshals assigned. I think we had Maxime Wegand, or however you pronounce that, uh, in uh, in Spain. So we'll go ahead and assign him to Norway. Uh, and then I guess with the Chinese volunteers, we'll give them a field marshal as well. Uh, let's give them, I think we're going to do Maurice. Uh, we haven't given him his trait just yet because we didn't have the command power so we'll do that here in a minute yeah I think I think we'll go ahead and assign him and then we're gonna want to get him that trait uh, let's do uh, well which one of these I think this was my defensive guy yeah I'm pretty sure I decided Maurice was gonna be our defensive guy uh, did we yeah we didn't have one here for Europe but he's not assigned any longer that's fine all right, so we'll go ahead and have uh, this guy with a more defensive trait, uh, probably unyielding defender. Yes, I think that's what we'll give him. And then for the last one, which is going to be going to the Congo, uh, oops, my bad, Phil Marshall, uh, we'll give him our final Phil Marshall, Alphonse, uh, and he will have, uh, I think we're going to go with the charismatic. Yeah, let's go charismatic here. All right, excellent. So everybody has field marshals. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to record two episodes today, guys. Uh, that way uh, we can try and catch back up so that the episode on Wednesday should be... Oh no, Amelia Earnhardt disappeared. Uh, but the episode on Wednesday should be on time, guys. Uh, I don't think that they've really been invading anywhere here, uh, or at least not successfully. I think what we're going to do is just move to some of these ports here. Let's move one over to here. I want to protect these the main ports, obviously. So let's move one guy there. And then we're going to move one of these infantry over to... I don't know. We'll do that. We'll do this port. All right. Just make sure the Brits can't take any ports. Hopefully. That's the ideal, anyway. I don't know if they've been invading over there and just failing miserably. It's really hard to say. Um, 
Now, they might just not be sending enough divisions. Britain doesn't really start out with a ton of divisions. Remember, their setup right now is, you know, the vanilla setup, even though they are uh, fascist. They have the vanilla setup, so they uh, are not built for for our combat on land at the beginning of the game. They just don't have enough divisions. Uh, so these guys are about to get here. We're going to go ahead and send them over here now. Start taking territory, and you can see the attrition's already hitting us. This is going to be bad. We just don't have the manpower and the equipment right now to suffer the, the damn attrition that you take here in Africa, which is why I'm kind of just thinking about pulling them back. I was wondering if I could just quickly conquer it, but I just don't think that's going to happen. There's no quick conquering of Africa. Uh, so we did get the support to the left. I think we have, yes, we do have enough factories to get the extra research slot, so let's go ahead and do that. Yes, I think that would be for for the best. Uh, this is just mainly opinion uh, opinion bonuses. So yeah, let's go ahead and get this one. Obviously, uh, extra research slot is pretty important. All right, uh, we got some military factories, so let's go and assign those to, I almost want to do more fighters, but we really need to fix the situation here, guys, uh, with all of our equipment, so let's let's focus on that first, and then we'll, we'll start building the Air Force up. There's just too much equipment that we currently need right now uh, to really be fucking around with with the planes. Uh, so, so yeah, we've got these guys moving here, um, and they're no longer getting the effects from the Yugoslavian Air Force purchase there where they bought our plane, so that means that we're now going to uh, not have as many civilian factories. Just kind of seeing which route I want these guys to take. Uh, let's have them go this way, and then tanks will go over through here. I want to try and get us get all this territory. Uh, try and get, you know, at least at the very least, we can take resources from the Brits. Uh, of course, it goes to to uh, Belgium, but but yeah, it hurts our our enemies. Uh, we know that Germany is going to be, or excuse me, that Britain is going to be an enemy. Uh, so yeah, we'll, we'll try and do what we can against them. It seems that the Italians and the Americans are now pushing forward, so that's good. Uh, it's been for a while there, it seemed like they weren't doing anything. They are just kind of sitting around. Uh, here in China, I, like I said, I don't think we're going to do anything. Um, unless the situation up here changes where it gets a little bit wider. Uh, and they take and they take uh, their city here, uh, Beijing. I don't, I don't know. What is it to see? Often what happens is the Japanese launch. Oh, there's one right there. All right, so that's what we're going to go do. We're going to go help. Knock the Japanese back into the sea. Can't let them get a foothold down here because that always really distracts the Chinese and that's how they lose these wars is they focus so much up here and then they don't guard their ports enough and then the Japanese get behind them and then they lose. Uh, so that's how we're going to do it. Uh, so these guys are moving there um, and then we'll have, oh, they're already there. Awesome. And then we're going to have them come over here, cut these troops off over there and then perhaps destroy them as well. Uh, and those are... British troops as well, uh, so that's helpful. Because uh, you see we have Germans here. Uh, uh, you know, It looks like they're attacking across a river, which is super stupid. Uh, that will allow us to come over here and grab this province from them and then destroy them while they're weak. Let's go ahead and do that Got now, in fact. Let's go ahead and attack them, uh, get those guys wrapped up. And let's build, I think, some artillery. Yeah, try and get that equipment situation handled. Just continue and check the tanks, seeing how they're doing on their training. Uh, make sure we check on everybody else as well. Uh, we could use that army experience to improve our infantry, I suppose. I would like to get them with the 40 width, but, you know, obviously we have other things that we need to work on first. Uh, we need to uh, get our equipment situation handled. Let's just go ahead and go straight to here now. And it looks like they did wrap those guys up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start attacking over here. And sorry for the loud trucks. Uh, got a lot of loud trucks going through right now. And, oh, these guys. I didn't realize that they were still here. Uh, once again, we're not going to be defending any of our African colonies there. How many troops do we have? We have seven here, uh, and we have nine in Asia. Let's send one more over here. Uh, and can we attack them? No, we can't attack them. They're in, I was about to say, um, yeah, they're marked as red. Okay, those are volunteers. That's why they're marked as red. Um, so the Russian volunteers are, are here in the Middle East for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they're expecting us Bye. to go to war soon or something. All right, so really the only place that we're fighting in is Africa, which is such a shame because that's not the place I want to fight in. Um, we could attack these tanks right here. I guess we will. Might as well hurt the Germans, I suppose. And, um, yeah, we're also coming over here in, in China. Uh, let's see if we can't get these guys wrapped up before they get a foothold, which they might have already. They're looking like they've... Uh, yeah, they're doing okay. I don't know if we can do anything. Yeah, I really don't know that we can do anything here, guys. You know what we need to do? We need to stop them from grabbing that port, though. All right, so we'll move that division over there. 
And yeah, I don't think we'll be able to win here. And we're not even all that strong, honestly. Um, let me take a look at how we have all our settings here. So we do have those guys low priority, that's good. And they're high priority in Europe, that's also good. Uh, colonies we have as, you know, just set in the regular setting. And then I think we'll go ahead and, and set the volunteers up to prioritize as well. All right, so that looks good. I m might want to pull back the European one, actually, so that we can make sure that, yeah, let's do that. So we make sure the volunteers are prioritized. Uh, that would be good. And then we'll just change the colonies down to low priority for right now. And then we'll change those back once war starts. Uh, we need to make sure that these guys have a good number of, uh, in, or have full equipment. Yeah, they're pumping troops over here. Our four divisions are not going to be able to hold this line by themselves. Uh, yeah, this is going to be a problem. And we can't win there. Not with these two divisions. So that's not an option. Let's swing on back over to Belgium troops over here. Make sure that they continue to push forward. Uh, let's go ahead and have them... Just trying to see where the best uh, places are for taking uh, resources. Uh, I know I want to get like the rubber from them. That would hurt them. I know it's three rubber, uh, but even three rubber would hurt the, the British uh, on their plane production. Uh, taking these ones, uh, probably not so much. Uh, yeah, I don't think that's going to hurt them that much. Uh, we'll go ahead and take it anyway, though. We'll go ahead and swoop through here and just grab some territory. Uh, but really, I just want to get up here. Uh, but we'll probably use these guys and the troops that we have up here in the north. Uh, it does look like there's a lot more German troops here, unfortunately. Did they lose that attack against? They do seem like they did lose. Well, we won now. Uh, so let's push them back. Let's go and take a look at our other fronts. See what's going on here. Doesn't seem any attacks have been launched over there. Uh, looking at China. Uh, we are losing in China now. Um, that's concerning. Let's see if we can't help out here. How about with this defense? Uh, it does look like they're about to push those tanks back. I don't think there's really anything that we can do about it, honestly. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Yeah, these guys are not going to be able to do it. And we're just kind of exhausting ourselves in this. So let's just go ahead and pull them back. And let's have the tanks go ahead and retreat up there. Uh, I just don't think that we're going to be able to hold it. And instead, if I can, well, I'm not going to be able to adjust it, unfortunately. I was going to try. Maybe I can. Come on. Give it to me. There we go. All right, so we'll have him come over here and just protect these. And it got messed up anyway, so it's irrelevant. All right, so we want it to look like that. And I don't know, guys. I don't think we're going to be able to hold this front, not by ourselves, not without some help from the, the Chinese troops, which they don't seem too keen on helping out right now, which is unfortunate. Uh, let's go ahead and build up some more military factories, guys. Not really going to focus on dockyards. Um, I don't know when we'll, we'll move a focus towards dockyards. It's just not a priority at the moment. Uh, and we'll do right there. Uh, maybe a little bit later. We currently have eight dockyards. Uh, but yeah, I don't I don't see us doing it right now uh, We got some new equipment light self light self propelled artillery that I never built So let's go and get one factory going towards that so that we can you know get a few built and then maybe we'll be able to put them in our tank divisions uh, and then I, I think we're gonna go ahead and put another military factory once we get it into the infantry equipment to try and get those issues there fixed All right, so let's we're just fighting all over the world right now uh, So yeah, it is kind of hard to keep track of everything, but we'll do our best uh, so let's go ahead and seize I think we have to get that victory point to seize this this state for them. So just go and beeline over to that, because um, I don't think there's anybody here to stop us. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and take this one with that division. Uh, this guy here, well, let's cut these guys off. They are coming into our territory, apparently. Um, so yeah, we'll try and cut them off, see if we can't get them destroyed. Let's go and send this division up over here. Grab that up, and yeah, no template, that's fine. Absolutely fine. We do have some unassigned divisions. Let's go and get that fixed. Put that guy over there. And all right, so we have five and five, five in the south and five in the north. Uh, is there anybody else? Oh, I forgot about the the division in Madagascar. All right, well, let's set it in the training army. And I'm once again not an area that I'm super keen on protecting, so we'll probably just retreat him uh, over to probably over to Indochina. Uh, could also put him up here as well. So we'll have a bit more divisions. In fact, that's what we're going to do. Let's get nine divisions over there. Uh, he might be a little bit close. I don't know. Actually, I think that is probably the closest place he is to. I was going to say he might be a little closer to um, to our Indochina territory, but I don't think that's the case. Probably. All right, so what are we doing here? I think we are going to attack that, and then maybe we I failed. Sure. I think that's exactly what happened. There's a tank there that stopped us. Uh, yeah, so won't. now, yeah, these tanks are coming down here. Uh, so let's just, yeah, let's kind of have to pull that back. Uh, we're not going to attack across that river. That would be stupid. Uh, so, yeah, they are moving tanks down here to the south, interestingly enough. Uh, the tank, the uh, Germans are. Uh, we got our extra research slot. So we're going to have to get that assigned. Uh, now we're going to go ahead and focus on 
getting down here so we can get rid of the, the disjointed government. Uh, so this isn't all that helpful, it's just really opinion boost, uh, but it is necessary to get for now. And what do we want to get next? Um, well, it's 1937, so I think we're going to do... Uh, I think we might go ahead and start working on the land doctrines, actually. Uh, I'm not really seeing anything. You know what? We also need we need better ships, too. Yeah, I mean, if we want to fight the, the Brits in the sea, we should probably start focusing on ships a bit. Uh, I want to get new carriers, and I want to get new battleships. Let's do the carriers first so we can start getting those built. And uh, by the time that gets done, maybe by then we'll be able to start building dockyards. We'll have enough military factories. We can, we can dockyard. So the Hungarians have joined the new order. All right, then. Uh, so remember, the new order is Germany's faction, and they now have the Hungarians in it. The British are not in there yet, uh, but we assume that they will be joining it. Uh, currently, Germany is not uh, in any actual wars. They're just sending volunteers out. We'll just have to see how the, the wars progress, and it does seem that we now have all these guys trained up, and they should have all their manpower as well, so we can go ahead and pull those guys out. Throw them into that blue army for right now. And uh, we just have one tank left to, to train up. Uh, we do have some experience, so we might make some adjustments to our divisions here uh, soon. Uh, it's just equipment such a such an issue. All right, so these guys are um, cut off. So what we're going to want to do is come over here and destroy that German Result. unit, that German volunteer unit. And with this division, he'll go and attack right there. Uh, make sure that our troops down here are doing something. Um, seems the tanks are, are content with uh, holding right. us right here. So let's go and take this, this province here. That will cut them. Well, not quite cut them off. You'd have to take both of these. Uh, but it would eventually result in cutting them off. And we can now grab uh, the victory point here as well. All right. Awesome. So things looking looking okay in Africa. Not so good in China, though. Uh, though the Chinese have finally put troops up here. Did they pull all of the divisions from up here? They did not. They have some over there. All right. Well, that's good. Um, so we now have assistance here. And we might be able to get something done. Um, you know, we're not defending it by ourselves any longer. Uh, which is very good. Uh, I do want to pull these guys back. This seems like a shitty place for us to be at. Uh, wait a minute. We might be able to grab that port. You know what? That's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to focus. We're going to change this up. Let's uh, be a little more focused with where we have our divisions assigned. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and take um, one infantry division. And assign him right there. And then give him order to just go right there. Just so he gets a planning right. bonus. And then these other three divisions. We're going to assign. Oops. Right here, and once again, sorry about all the fucking loud noises, the damn trucks. Um, we talked about this in our vlog, and we're gonna get all these three troops, by the way, coming down here to try and take that port and get all these Japanese troops uh, cut off from from their supply. But we talked about this in the vlog. Uh, we've got this goddamn guy behind us. He lives not directly behind us, um, but kind of a couple houses down behind us, and he goes through the alleyway, and we're not gonna do this. And I swear to God, he's a damn uh meth cook man he's always working late at night with all kinds of weird weird stuff and i don't know seems like he built a lab in his house or something i don't know uh but he's loud as fuck back there I'm trying to figure out what we want to do here what we want to change um we could change uh over to extensive conscription which would allow us to start building troops uh, definitely necessary uh, but i also want to change away from civilian economy that probably would be uh, more useful at the moment uh, can we change over... We don't have enough war support to change over to war economy uh, or partial mobilization. That's how bad our war support is. Well, jeez, man. We can't even change to early mobilization. All right, so that's not an option. Um, I should have noticed that they weren't colored in. Okay. Well, that yeah, that's a shame. Uh, we can't change to extensive either because we don't have the war support. I, I forget that, that France has such a, a low war support. So instead... Let's see if we can't get a silent workhorse here so we can get a little bit more political power because our political power gain right now is pretty garbage. Uh, so I think that would be a good thing so we can slowly start getting uh, getting those advisors a little quicker. So what are we doing over here in Africa? All right, so we have wrapped these guys up. Let's go ahead and try and destroy them. That does look like that's going to be a loss. They don't really have any equipment right now. Um, so let's just wait. Uh, wait for this attack to peter out and then we'll attempt to attack again. All right, where do we want to move? Uh, could take that province right there. I think that's exactly what we'll do. Hopefully we don't get cut off. That's definitely a realistic possibility. I uh, could get that division cut off. Africa's so big and there's so little t troops here, though, it's kind of easy to get yourself, uh, to get your, you know, get it fixed uh, if you do get cut off. We'll go ahead and take that province there. And let's swing on back over to Asia and see how things are going. Um, let's attack here now. And so we're going to try and get the port so that we can destroy these, these divisions here. 
Um, I might also attack right there, but let's just wait until we get the port, and then we'll we'll start attacking. Uh, that should be our priority, I think. Uh, and they might be the Japanese might be sending more troops in here. They're also getting assistance from there, or they were uh, getting some assistance from their their ships. Uh, we got improved machine tools. Awesome. Uh, so that means we're done with the industrial techs until 1939. Uh, not quite 1938 yet. Um, and I said I was going to do land doctrines, and I think that that's what we're going to do, is go ahead and switch up our land doctrine, because, uh, yeah, I don't think we're going to stay in the grand battle plan doctrine. So we are going to go ahead and go down the superior firepower uh, doctrine route. Let's do that. Uh, we're going to go ahead and get this first one, which is going to be exchanging our max entrenchment and entrenchment speed for all frontline battalions getting a plus 20% soft attack and a new tactic. All right, so we'll switch that up, guys. Start working on those doctrines. Uh, and we almost have this port here. This will allow us to just completely destroy all these Japanese troops. I hate that we're fighting the Japanese right now because I really want to focus on fascist uh, countries because I think they're the greatest threat. Um, but we've got to save China. We can't allow China to, to fall. That's a, a possible powerful ally. Uh, so yeah, I don't want them to, to fall on us. So let's grab this uh, province right here and that'll cut those German tanks off from supply. Uh, and then we'll kind of double that uh, by taking bit more territory. I'd love to get to that port there. I think that's kind of our goal. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll just take that one, I suppose. I was going to go this way. Uh, but yeah, no, let's grab that one first. Start moving towards that port, and um, we might be able to destroy those guys now. It, we should be able to. I think we're being tied to this. Uh, yeah, it's green. Excellent. Uh, so let's go ahead and have these guys get behind these troops here. This is three provinces we have to get before they're cut off, though, so that's going to be kind of challenging to do. We'll see if we can't make it happen, though. Uh, it does seem that the, the Brits here are taking territory, so that's bad as well. Uh, maybe it would be better to come up behind them. This, You know what? This would be easier. Uh, let's go behind these guys here. Try and get that British division cut off, and they're a little bit stronger as well, uh, so it makes more sense to focus on them. All right, so we have moved there. Uh, let's go and have them go... Yeah, they're going to want to go here. And let me just see how... You know what? Let's just beeline to... Um, yeah, let's just beeline to that, that port there. And once these guys get this wrapped up, they'll be cut off. We'll come back and uh, kind of hold them here so they can't can't move. Wait till they... They, you know, exhaust themselves from attrition, and then we'll get them destroyed. Uh, so this guy is attacking there. Excellent. We're, we have to attack here before uh, we'll be able to completely wipe them out. Let's take a look at uh, Norway and see how things are going. Looks like no attacks there. Um, Belgium's still holding out as well. Uh, we did get interwar artillery. Excellent. And engineer companies. And yeah, we're wrapping these techs up pretty quick. Um which is nice. I think we're getting a nice little bonus from those German scientists. It's only 3%, but it does make a difference. Uh, so we're done here. Uh, I do want to get anti-tanks eventually. Um, and you know what? Maybe because we're fighting the Germans and stuff, it might be a better idea to get that earlier. In fact, yeah, let's let's go and do that. Uh, again, I don't know what else we'd do as well. We're not in 1938, uh, and I'm not really keen on getting naval and air doctrines at the moment. So yeah, let's let's do the anti-tanks. We'll get those knocked out. So we can put them in our divisions. Of course, we don't really have the, the equipment to, to do that, uh, or the production to really do that. And we actually have an additional slot here. I forgot we had just finished up two techs. Okay, so let's go ahead and get... Um, oh, we already have the mountain ones. I was going to say let's do the mountain ones, but we have that already. All right, so we don't need to get that. Uh, so do we have all of our... We do not. So we're going to want to get... Let's get logistics. Uh, and... We can now make some adjustments to our divisions, but you know what? I think we're going to do that next episode because this episode Attention. is over, my friends. Uh, so we're helping out. It's mainly just volunteers right now, helping out, uh, helping out the Belgians in Africa, helping out the Chinese here. And did we wipe out that we did? There we go, baby. So we took uh, the port. So now all these Japanese troops are cut off from supply. You can see they've already been hit. And this will allow us to just completely wrap them up and destroy all these, all these divisions. I don't know how many it is. It's a lot. It's at least two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then how many are there? So at least ten, if not more, uh, Japanese divisions are going to be destroyed now. Uh, so that's very, very good. And it seems that the Chinese have made a little bit of progress up here in the north. They took a province, um, but I think they might have lost that one. So, so things are going okay in China. We're holding out, uh, and then in Norway, nothing happening. Uh, no attacks really uh, just looking at the national focuses as we end it. We got a Royal Tank Regiment here in Britain uh, Germany you have the anti common turn pact. All right. Well, that's gonna change things up a little bit. How's that gonna? What does that say now? Because uh, It looks like it is gonna affect Russia <laughs> It is gonna affect Russia as if Russia is a Soviet Union, which is awesome because yeah now they're not gonna they're not gonna like each other um, 
even though they're both fascists. I think some of these national focuses, yeah, they don't don't consider the fact that the ideologies have changed. So that'll be a problem. That was the kind of stuff I was expecting, but I don't think it's going to be like major problems. Uh, expanding central industrial region here in Poland. Italy's working on the jet engine effort. Did we check Britain? I think we did. Yeah, Royal Tank Regiment there. Uh, just looking through the Balkans, seeing what they're all doing, seeing if there's anything we need to be concerned about. Uh, remember, Turkey is got the generic national focuses they're currently working on army effort uh and let's swing over to did we check russia we did transpolar flights uh japan is working on national mobilization law china inviting foreign investors public works uh up there and the united states is working on the caribbean sphere uh, so what exactly is that going to result in okay so uh they are going to get uh, okay, so they're going to get communist support, so we might see uh, the Caribbean sh uh, sh switching over to communism. We have democracy here. They already have some communism here, actually, but a lot of, uh, a lot of other ideologies that maybe we'll get into our, into our party here. Um, as you can see, uh, it's already affecting all the South American countries, as, or a lot of them anyway, as they're moving towards communism due to that American support, seeing the same thing in Unitary Canada and Mexico. Uh, so the Americans are attempting to turn everybody communist, uh, and that's going to be quite helpful for our cause, I believe. Um, and yeah, that's that's going to be it, guys. I uh, hope that you enjoyed the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. And thanks for watching, guys.